Um, next up, we've got Kathy DeLapp, who's our neurophysiotherapist. Kathy's worked at the Hearing and Balance Centre for forever, for 16 years. And um, she sees all our patients who have problems with balance or dizziness. So and I'm sure she's going to tell you all about it. Um, thank you, Vanessa, for that nice introduction. And yes, I'm the dizzy fizzy at Hearing and Balance. Dizziness is actually one of the most frequent complaints heard in the doctor's office. Surprising to many of you, it's actually more common than hearing loss. So even though today is really the beginning of Hearing Awareness Week, we kind of feel like this part of the clinic is something that also warrants a little bit of mention. Everyone recognizes that you have two ears, of course. That means you should have two cochleas, the one on the right and the one on the left. And likewise, there should be two balance organs, one on each side. And even more than the hearing, it's necessary that the right side and the left side work together. The inner ear has a special fluid inside. It's fluid actually within the cochlea that creates the messages for hearing. Likewise, the fluid within the labyrinth creates the messages for the balance. And the important part of the labyrinth, there are the three motion detectors. That means three that belong to the right labyrinth, three other ones that belong on the left side. So altogether, there are six. And every time we change, if I just look over towards the NESA, as long as we're still on this planet, gravity should move the fluid in the right one, but the left one as well has to go the same direction at the same time, or it looks back in the front or up at the ceiling. Every time we move or change, there's a new message from the right ear and one from the left ear, and they're meant to coincide, and that makes us balanced. The labyrinth tells the brain, and then the brain actually coordinates all the muscles so we can continue to move and be safe and feel comfortable. Just one more part to the labyrinth. Every once in a while we're not moving. Most everyone in here would have gravity telling everything on the right side to be still, and it should tell everything on the left side to be still and the lower section, or the vestibule at the bottom of the labyrinth, lets the brain know that we're not actually changing at the moment. So even in our sleep, there's either a message about lying quietly, or we turn, or we get up, and it's a continuous array and change of information that's constantly happening with only that one message based on the fluid inside doing things properly. There are a variety of things that might change within the labyrinth. Some happen just to the balance mechanism by itself. Unfortunately, there are one or two things that might happen to the entire inner ear, and that then could cause hearing problems and balance problems in the same person in the same ear, and that makes it double trouble for sure. Basically, dizziness can be broken down into those three different categories. The most frequent problem is the benign positioning vertigo, and they just have temporary disruption in those signals where instead of the right side and the left side being equal, one side has extra pieces, and so it's exaggerated sometimes, and then they're not balanced. It might be every time they lie down at night, or if it happens lying down, it often happens getting up again. Or different activities, they might have many little dizzy spells through the day, and it's very disruptive because you're not always 
able to depend on just what's going to happen, where the brain needs that perfect signal all the time. If it's lasting for hours at a time, that's not usually the way the benign positioning vertigo behaves. But Meniere's disease, where the fluid in the entire ear is disruptive, it's usually excessive first, and that makes both the hearing and the balance fail. They might be quite distressed and uncomfortable for hours, even up to a day or two. And then the body corrects the fluid in the inner ear, so that terrible crisis stops, and they go along until another attack. Another cause of dizziness that might last for hours is migraine. Migraine is usually thought to be a vascular process, and if it's happening to the inner ear, the problems are dizzy rather than headaches that people associate with traditional migraine. Again, mostly that runs its course, and it's a tricky one because there's not really a definitive test for migraine. Often there are people that have the traditional headache, and then they can have the dizzy migraine as well. And usually it's migraine medicine that helps for that kind of dizziness. The last problem of dizziness is one that can last for days and days. Often people with labyrinthitis are sick, really dreadfully spinning and vomiting for a week, and that typically means there's an infection or inflammatory process in the ear. That can happen to just the labyrinth, causing the dizzy side of the situation, or it might happen to the entire ear and they would have sudden hearing loss and dizziness. And again, that's really a very unpleasant problem. Generally, the dizziness can be broken down into those categories. And fortunately, the most frequent one, the benign positioning vertigo, has a reasonably effective treatment that can help make that kind of dizziness settle down. It is important to see someone, either the ENT specialists or someone like myself, so that things are evaluated properly. And in particular, you need to determine, is it the labyrinth on the left side that's causing the trouble, or the labyrinth on the right side, before you can know which kind of treatment will actually help. But any time, and most people with dizziness would let their doctors know, it's quite an unpleasant problem. We're still working on getting the doctors to recognize that, in particular, the benign positioning vertigo is something with a reasonable solution today. I'm happy to entertain any questions if anyone has a general question about business, or I'll be out at our um, booth in the lobby um, when the talks are finished if I can help with something specific.